Yeah, hello. In this video, I want to show you how to clone a VM, a KVM VM, with the help of the vert install command. And before we run the vert install command, we will use the command vert sysprep to clean up the template. So, what I do first is I show you my virtual mas machines with virtualist dash dash all and you see I have only one it's shut off and this is my Ubuntu 24 template and the the uh, disk file is this one and to clone this machine, I will first create a copy of the disk file and put it to my other directory where I have my other pool stuff. Uh, I could put it in the same directory, but my disk is a little bit um, small and the other one is much bigger then. So I first copy this file, this disk file. It's around about 10 gigabyte in size and yeah it's finished now and now we want to proceed with the command I show you it's this one the command uses the word dash this prep command and with this argument I tell the this prep to proceed with all cleaning operations except removing the user account. The dash in front of user account means this operation will be skipped. And also the SSH directory under the user directory will not be deleted because of the dash in front of it. And if you want to know what, what, oper uh, what operations are um, inside which op word, word this prep operations are available you can call word this prep with dash dash list dash operations and then you can go through there is always a little description and you can go through and decide what do you need and what what not um, yeah let's run this command here and then we will see this prep will tell us wh what 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 is going on there and you see after deleting the ssh host keys there would run there it would run the command ssh the operation ssh dash user dear but because i skipped it, it it doesn't run and so on nice now we came to the last command to create our to clone our VM I use the command word dash install tell him connect to the local chemo emula emulator stuff name the new machine u24 give it 2 gigabyte RAM this is also important you have to choose the right uh, operating system information there's also a command to list all available when cpu and stuff you see what i use here i press enter and now you will see also the reason why i have two terminals tmux terminals to the same host machine because the new machine is now running we can Look at it with the version list command and the installation process will end up till I stop the machine. So first I will connect with the help of the console command so we could check up if the machine is, is uh, has, uh, finished the installation but it's not really an installation, it's just a starting the machine, I guess. 
And the console command we can run because I have set up in the template all the necessary stuff to do it. And you can see how to do it in another video I made in the same channel here on YouTube. And now I can proceed with my login. And because I use the dash user dash account uh, operation, so I skipped deletion of my user, so that's why I can use my still my user to log in. And here I can look up what IP I got from the local DHCP. And now we try to, uh, yeah, first of all, uh, we, we keep in mind this IP. First of all, I will shut down the machine to finish the installation. Oh yeah, we could do it in another way. Just log out and terminate the console session. And now I run virsh shutdown, shutdown U24. And you will see the installation process will terminate. And now we can try to, yeah, we first start the machine again. And then we try to SSH into the VM, the new created VM. And this will not run because we deleted the host keys, the SSH host keys, with the help of the word sysprep command. So we have to recreate these host keys, some new SSH host keys, and that's why I go into the VM again with the help of virsh console command. Switch to root and run the command dpkg-reconfigure open ssh-server and now we see the ssh host keys has been created and now we can try to log in and I can do the stuff here give my ssh pa um, passphrase and now I'm logged in it's our new machine. Okay, and if we want to delete the machine, let me go off here. We can do a watch with one second on virtual list. And if I want to delete the virtual machine, I can use the virsh undefined command. And normally I don't need anything. The disk should disappear also, so I use the subcommand, uh, the attribute remove all storage. Let's do it. Okay, so we need to stop the machine before. So we call virsh shutdown u24. Now it's gone. And it will tell us also that the disk file has been removed. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoy my little screencast. Give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel if you want. It's for free. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.